Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a guide to Scribble on iPad. Now Scribble is something that had come out a flout a year ago or more even um, with iPadOS 14 and it's a really cool feature and just think a lot of us don't take full advantage of this feature or maybe you don't even know about this feature. So if you are new to iPad or you just don't know what Scribble is, um, it is a very cool feature that allows you to use your Apple Pencil uninterrupted so you can use it with in-text fields like um, in messages or just a search bar in Safari, things like that, uninterrupted workflow, um, and you don't need to switch between the keyboard and the Apple Pencil constantly. It also helps with recognizing your handwriting and easily converting it to text. So basically, it allows your handwriting to be just as powerful as text. So let's take a look at this in action. That's the best way I think possible for me to show you guys how cool this feature is. So let's take a look at it in action. I think that's the best way possible for me to actually demonstrate to you guys this cool feature. So I'm going to go into notes here. And as you can see, we have just a blank canvas. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start writing just like we would normally do. So I'm just going to select my pen here. So I'm just going to write, um, Scribble is cool. Okay, so just as simple as that. But what Scribble allows you to do is select your handwriting. So as you can see, it just highlights it just as it would text. So I can just select this whole thing here. Um, and then I can just go ahead and see all these options. And I can select maybe copy as text. Okay, and now when I go here, I can click on paste. And then it has it right there, easily selected. Don't mind my cat. So that is the basics of Scribble, recognizing your handwriting, easy as that. Um, also just something that they did include with this update with Scribble is just easily creating good shapes, I guess. So you basically just draw your shape and then hold down and then it will snap into a good looking shape. Um, I can draw a star to save my life, but Luckily, it just snaps into place just like that. Um, it's a really cool feature. I think it helps a lot when you are writing things in notes. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's a very cool feature that I think is really nice. So you have that also if you're interested in creating shapes and things like that in your drawings or within your notes. But that's just using your normal pen tools that you have here um, and then just converting it to text. You also have this option right here, which is your scribble tool, which allows you to right from the get go, just convert all your um, handwriting into text. So I'm just going to go ahead and write down um, again, scribble is cool. As you can see, as I'm writing, it automatically just converts it to text. Um, and this is just one of the best features as well. And this is what allows you to be able to convert handwriting into text in any text field. So let's go into Safari, for instance, and search something in the search bar. So I'm in Safari and I'm just going to write in the search bar apple.com. And you'll see here at the bottom pops up this little toolbar here where you can just undo something or you can go to his search or you can bring up your keyboard. So it just brings up this little menu here at the bottom, which is convenient. Um, so you just click on search and then it will go to that web page that you search or whatever you search. <laughs> And this doesn't just work within the search bar of Safari itself, it also works with text fields within websites. So here you can see if I have to sign into a certain web page or something, I can just go ahead and write into these little um, areas here, your email, and, um, and then it will take it as text. So it's not just the search bars, it's any text field, which is really nice. So now I want to share with you guys some scribble gestures which make editing your text in any text field very easy. So I'm going to go into messages here and as you can see here is already a line of text. Um, so what you can do um, when you have your line of text, there are a few gestures you can use to just help you be able to edit this easier. So obviously you can just go ahead and just write out your message. So how are we still on for lunch? How about we meet up at around two? Um, so it still works the same. You can just go ahead and just write it out. So let me just write here, let me know. So now there are a few gestures that you can use to easily select text, erase text, all that kind of stuff. So if I want to select text just within here, what I can do is I can just circle it and then it's selected. And then if I want to just erase text, what you can do is you can just scribble over it and then it's erased. Now, if there is something that I maybe wrote wrong or just put it together as one word. So if you can see here, it's the up at, it is 
supposed to be two words, but it set it as one word. So what you can do then is you can just draw a vertical line right in the middle of the letters that you want to separate. So just like that, and then it is separated into two words. And if those words had to be one word, you can just draw a vertical line again and then combine the two words as one word. So that is a very helpful feature as well. So again, you don't have to go to your keyboard to fix that problem. You can just do a quick gesture with your Apple Pencil. Now the last thing I want to share with you guys is how to insert a word. So basically what you do is you just hold your pencil down on the area that you want to insert the word in. So in between writing and scribble, I'm going to hold down. Then you see that gray part pop up. So again, I'm going to hold down and I'm just going to write with right there. And once it's done, it inserted that word right there. Quick and easy. I don't have to go ahead again, go open up the keyboard, go move my cursor and everything. I can just quickly write in there. So that is the basics for Scribble. I think this is a very fun feature and I think it is super worth it to know how to use this feature to save you a lot of time. So let me know what your thoughts are on Scribble. Is this something that you would use? Is it something you've already been using? Let me know in the comments down below um, and definitely give this video a thumbs up if it did help you out. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen, click on the playlist to see all our other iPad related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.